Hello, hello, everyone. Get on usual today. It's gonna be me hanging out, chilling, some music and some. Get to it. Just make sure you mix the paints well. Shake him like a fucking crazy man. Just draw some figure eights on the paint if it's still not fully mixed. Honestly, you can do you want to do circles, you want to do triangles, whatever works for you. There's no, you know, no said method. Really important to before painting, wash your figures. Get any dust and whatever off of them. Um, bigger figures, sometimes you may even need to stand down a little bit some parts. Um, just problems that occur in manufacturing, even with 3D printed ones. And the main reason for priming, even if the figure says, oh, it comes pre-primed. Don't believe in that primer is usually really bad. But once you prime them, that's what the paint is going to stick to. prime on this guy thinking you know I want to do some dark purple for the skin on his and it appears to be like a claw weapon sort of it's his hand. I have to think what color I want to make his claws or tentacle like things I'm gonna go for some Guts red on the from tentacles right there. I 
There's no mistakes. Happy little accidents. Let's all come together in the name of our Lord and Savior Cthulhu. Praise Cthulhu. Paint the mind flares, which are the spreaders of his word. You're just having a nice, chill, grand time. So what's everybody up to today? I hope you're having a good day. Also blinding that ripple. I remember my blow me's the trick to painting is gotta look bad before it looks Then when I go paint them, it's gonna be look like garbage. Not the good garbage. Yeah, look at this handsome looking fellow. Pentagon Monster Man. You can go to him like, oh baby, what that mouth do?
gonna look at you and say Share and comply. Yeah, mind flares are some of the most vile motherfuckers. Really kidnap people. They implant a tadpole through their eye socket. And the tadpole remains dormant in you until it grows and once it matures, mind flare is born out of your body. Hair falls off, your skin melts, and your jaw breaks open to make place for the tentacles. Sounds excruciatingly painful. Serving. Gotta make sure he's nice and in it. Remember, you guys put too much of anything, you know, like paint. It makes it so the figure loses detail. But easy way to fix that is to just keep brushing in place like that, and you just keep spreading it and see. Boom! The excess paint is gone. It's been moved to other areas that need it. Remember, anything that happens in painting is fixable every time. You can always paint over it, you can always sand it down, you know, there's always a way to fix it. Don't panic. Don't think the figure always has to look perfect either. Your style, your colors. Just need to learn techniques and then apply them. more techniques you learn the better you get you know that just comes with time experimenting try a little bit of everything see what you like see what works some people don't like painting the small minis they just like painting the big ones that's fine about having a good time not about being the best at it or anything like that Looking motherfucker. This guy, the small crevices. Tap, tap, tap. Little bit of paint in, and then you just brush around. The chinks in the armor, like the rolls of the skin, things like that. Tap lightly. Gotta be gentle that you don't break the brush. Fuck over the bristles.
getting in this hand is a little bit difficult. Just like big meaty claws. Big meaty claws. Just a little bit on the back row and I'm then ready for the main coat. What do you guys think? Should we go with a dark blue for his robe? Make a double find. Or what red? Take his armor on. Copper. Copper. Still a couple of chinks in the base that I gotta get. today and uh, later tonight we might have some gaming a little bit the shit while he dries I gotta clean off the paint from the brush
everybody up to? How's your day going? This guy is good to go. Now I want to make the purple full again. I want to make a nice part. I think I shall be. First I'm gonna do his skin color, and then I'm gonna do his robe. I think for this guy I'm gonna give him a red robe, because I always give them all blue robes. So, just something a little bit different. Ooh, lay. Hell yeah, I'll paint you like one of my French girls. Has to be in the back of a car, though. Mix this paint up. See what color comes up. <laughs> exactly so you can fit <laughs>
Remember to, for storage purposes, color code your caps. So you can see them from the top. <laughs> Now we need more purple. that it gets the paint well and mix it's a nice pigment with a nice solid color for that i still want to add i got a little bit too much of the abyssal black so now i gotta add some more blue and i'm still not quite happy with the tone A hint of red. way more fucking paint than I need for this minifig but I'm happy with the color now <laughs> the important part thinking on his or are they actually he's gonna need red on their tones we're gonna make his skin like a rust red first and then we're putting the blue over it.
undertone. people make theirs really bright. I make mine a bit on the darker side. But again, it's a matter of personal purpose. You have to be happy. Mr. Octopus head. Good to always do the undertones first. That way, if you get paint on anything else, you good. Sort of like a mind flare warrior. Also, the book. Do whatever the fuck you want. Taking care of mine. Because it saves me money. Instead of this arm, I'm using the small one. I technically use the big. The less mistakes I make now, the less I have to clean up later.
gonna make a nice shit. I want to be really careful about getting this class because if I don't look, if I don't pay enough attention, there's a big spot. You know, what I'm picturing. Really easy to get carried away certain small details. things like this what I do I love it boom as you go mucha calma the middle finger literally giving me the middle finger right now As you go to paint on other areas, you know, the seven six areas, you miss the spot or things like that. Right here. gonna use pieces of my hair to make my own custom brushes is it because of how thick it is these luscious locks
probably a lot easier if I didn't have such. Sometimes all you really get is red, spreading it. Fuck yeah, spread it! It's a nice matte red, so it's gonna give a nice finish. Hey, Miliana Moo, thank you for the raid. How are you doing today? How's everyone doing? Wow, we have a party now. <laughs> Is that a bison emote? Kind of looks like a buffalo, but with the horns. Oh, no, well, I mean, based on the name. Yeah, that's what I was going to based on the name. It's would be a cow or a bull. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. What are you up to? We're uh, putting the undertones for a mind flare. And uh, once the red is done, we're gonna be putting that blue right there uh, on top of the red. See if we can get a nice, uh, nice shade going. <laughs> I feel that it's, you know, it can be challenging and sometimes it's just got to gather the energy to want to do it, you know, especially like the small ones it can be like such a pain. Just because so many tiny details and so much like focusing, 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 focusing. If you don't already, magnifying glass. Oh no, my hands are not steady at all. Look at that shit. They're always trembly. Gotta let this guy dry a little bit. 
once he's dried again, um, I can put on the blue coat. So, close. bunch of open paints around the table. Never a good idea. Never ends well. Yeah, that's. I, I say, you know, like if you have um trembly hands, don't let that like discourage you from painting ever. Um, because you know, like if you make mistakes, you can always fix them or paint over it or something. And um, something I also do a lot is that um, I'll like put you know the hand that's holding like so, and then this hand like rest it on my, and it helps me like keep it stable a little bit. Can be tough sometimes but yeah don't you know don't ever think that because you have shaky hands you can't or paint painting and art is for everyone and also has to look bad before it looks good i'm talking a lot of shit. but yeah i love talking shit. one of my best qualities I think he, his paints dry fairly quickly actually on this guy. Go oh, on the tiny little spot. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. We got it. Sorry, there you have to my arm. I have the water on the other side. Ooh, and now we can start putting the blue on him. Sit on his tentacles. His tentacles, I'm just gonna leave the red on it and put another red on top. Let's kind of water up a little bit more. And there we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. For real. Appreciate the raid and appreciate the lurk. Um, have a good dinner. And uh, yeah, I'll be around for a little bit. Um, um, I think probably like another, you know, I feel it'll take me at least a solid hour to finish this guy. But yeah, we'll be here and appreciate you. What you're making for dinner. How's everybody else doing today? How are you guys feeling? You guys up to? Dude head.
have some gross looking skin. Gonna be a grosso. This is gonna be a cool grosso. It's actually perfect for an overcoat, especially on top of this rig. Anyone excited for the new Doctor Strange film? Any Marvel fans out there? some more inspiration for the cloths because I don't want to leave them just the same plain old blue wondering if I can make them uh, a silver or a really dark black color I don't know where that night back man is, but eh, whatever. I don't want to deal with it right now. <laughs> Just want to paint. But yeah, I always post uh, pictures and set pictures of the finished products on mainly on my Instagram and Twitter.
So if uh, you're curious to see, you know, what the full-on finished painting looks like with more detail than right now, because, um, you know, uh, due to lighting and my camera not being the best camera, you won't be able to see all the little details. Anybody have any recommendations for what his cloak? For his cloak color? Trying to get his armpit, it's going. Oh, it's annoying to get it without getting poker. Right now, it's of no consequence getting paint anyway. Channeling my inner Bob Ross. No mistakes. Exactly. You know, this is for when paint gets stuck in small areas like between the claws and it starts fusing them together like or not in the class. Probably gonna have to redo the class because once I do the cloak for sure I'm gonna get some paint. Ooh, there we go. Now it's working the command. Hmm. Thinking like I don't need real blue. That would be amazing. Sure, I'm gonna do some bronze for his armor for his plate. Dark red for fabric. That should be light leash. Ooh, I'm 
actually going to mix two types of reds and a metallic black color that I have. Sort of like a metallic copper, but like a dark copper. I mix these. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know. I'm going to mix these and uh, we're going to see what happens. Shake the paints well. If not, come out like booby, booby paints. A figure eight circles, infinity symbol, which is the same as a figure eight. Whatever you, you know, whatever you feel gets the paint nice and mixed for you. Ooh, I love this red. Look at that. Look at how that's coming out. It's looking great. Nice and shiny sort of like a regal cloak look rather than like a doll Yeah, I'm very happy with how this mix came out. Oh, this one's gonna look so good once he's done. I think this color might even be good for a boss on his left hand. Walk it up. So this stage is pretty and the Tell you one thing for sure. If I didn't have a magnifying glass, this would not be <laughs> I'm only using this nice, this big brush for the bottom half, and for the top one, I'm gonna have to see finer. The goal I wanna learn to be like how Bob Ross used his fucking giant brushes, and even with the giant brushes, he was able to get like the tiniest details to the right goals. Probably a lot harder to do in minis, but we could do it and make fucking beautiful masterpiece paintings.
Sometimes I wish I had four arms just for the convenience. Imagine having four arms. <laughs> just ah! squid. What's up? Just imagine having four arms. How much easier it would be to do shit. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're working on a mind flare. On focus. Um, I won't focus because you know, cameras. But um, I'll be for sure posting the finished uh, look later once uh, he's all done and dried. Brush is actually fantastic. How you doing today, Squid? By the way, my peeps, Nimble Squid, fucking awesome streamer. He's also a variety streamer like myself. Uh, he focuses on gaming mostly. I uh, slowly over time um, have built up quite the mini collection and I got actually um, you know these boxes that are for storing jewelry and in those I store the the minis and um, <laughs> for the paints I actually got a case that's for storing inks but the paint bottles are the perfect size that they fit in no problem Ah, uh, congratu congratulations, dude. What's gonna be the... Or what are you planning to... That's your first game to use on the PC... To play on the PC. <laughs> um good resources g2a and cd keys they they usually always have like deals and whatnot on games or they have them for a cheaper price uh, what they do is that they wholesale buy the keys and then they resell them if you haven't already heard of it humble bundle is also awesome Dude, you're gonna you're gonna love it so much um and for for shooters once you get the hang of mouse and keyboard down oh it's amazing so comfortable Switch to my finer brush. <laughs> it's like riding a bike, right? You never forget. You'll be fine, bro. Plus, you know, it's PC's about having fun more than anything. Well, everything playing in general. That's that's why they're called games. That's why it's called playing. Sure, some games are, you know, more competitive than others, but ultimately, if you're having fun, you already won. <laughs> I say that, then me while playing competitive games, I'm like, ah! <laughs> Hmm. 
Ooh, getting around his armpit is gonna be a bitch. That much paint to paint successful. Kinda see it, but yeah. Very like almost trace amounts of paint in a tiny spot. Yeah, online DD campaigns are, are pretty good, especially now with Discord and the camera and whatnot. Um when I DM, I often just point my camera towards I have some um boards with the grid. And I'll aim it there just so the party can have an idea of, you know, where they're standing, how far away the enemy is. And uh, I do have some sets for, like, dungeon building. So I'll, like, build dungeons and I'll, like, cover it up the top. So, sort of like a fog of war effect. Mainly because a lot of my friends live off state if they were here oh my god fucking fantastic Yeah, roll roll twenty is pretty good, um, especially since you can also find kind of like permission. So like, oh, you can only move this um, icon. Another good tool to check out is if if you have Divinity Original Sin two, the Game Master mode is really good for doing online campaigns too. They're they're great. Um, People thought that it was that they would be able to make their own entire Divinity campaign, but not really. It's best for pen and paper. Tabletop simulator, if it doesn't crash on you, it's also good. Because it, it has a... Uh, not a mod, but a workshop thing that you download, and it already has like a D&D table set up for you with character sheets for like, I think like five or seven people. And tabletop simulators like nine bucks, ten bucks, something like that. You can probably find that real cheap on CD keys. Now we're gonna add uh, the dwarven bronze for the armor. Oh, actually, this one has a lot of paint there on the top, so I'm just gonna pull from there rather than waste paint. These bitches are expensive. Mine's there, that's what. Creme de la creme. I got it, I've painted smaller shit before. Painted a fucking gnome bard. I know, tabletop simulator's not just VR. Um, because I don't have a VR and I still, I'm still able to play tabletop simulator just fine. The only thing is that, you know, you would use your mouse and keyboard for everything else. But um, you can even play Uno and Monopoly and shit. There, there's a so you can like drag your mouse and like as if it was your hand and like grab the table and you can like flip the table. There, there's a button that resets the table again. <laughs> Mainly if you flip the table, like people just immediately kick you out of the game, you know. Sometimes it's like it was an accident. I was trying to grab a card from the table, not flip it. <laughs> Before it didn't have the undo flip, and it was a nightmare because people would just like jump in from an, to an online game randomly, flip the table, and fucking leave. I 
up. <laughs> So gotta do oh actually that is different to another mind floor. This openings instead of being on its sides are through the middle. So this guy's more kind of like a warrior mind flayer rather than a wizard mind flayer. Trying to grab paint. Well, no worries, dude. You're fine. Trying to grab paint while looking through the oh, through the lenses is weird because it really throws off your depth perception. So it's like, am I? Why? Why am I not touching the paint? Oh, with a freaking magnifying glass. but it's so exciting you're getting your your computer tomorrow so like you know you should still keep the laptop just in case you never know what might happen but you can even sell it or whatever you know make a little extra cash you're, you're gonna notice the difference in power and everything um even if you have a high-end um laptop you'll still notice the difference in power with a desktop just because the desktop gets so much better ventilation um you get a lot better um gg bullet oh asking for shout outs gg bullet mods ban no i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> gg bullets are a good old buddy of mine Mwah. show him some love <laughs> I feel that yeah, Chrome is really, really poopy. Craps, craps out on me all the time too, and it, it sucks because um, you know, uh no, I haven't checked checked out Marauders yet. Which one was Marauders? Oh, Space Tarkov got you, but I have actual Tarkov. Is it better than actual Tarkov? Ooh, flying a ship on the raid, that does sound cool. Can I board somebody else's ship and, like, fight them on the ship? So like they have like like they have like a frigate ship, not a space space fighter, like a one seater. That sounds actually really cool, yeah. I tried the cycle and it wasn't bad. It was, you know, the be, be, between the cycle and Tarkov, Tarkov was better. So the pre-alpha is just if you pre-order it or could I like download the pre-alpha and try it out without pre-ordering? Okay, so I have to pre-order to um right right now i can't swing it um in between employment at the moment but for sure once i get a, uh, once i'm back on my regular full-time schedule
or once they start selling feet pics in um in only fans you know yeah for sure dude remember to post on your stories and stuff when you're going live so i can see it and also my peeps uh go show some love to nimble squid fucking awesome guy that means you gg bullet go follow him yeah feed picks makes money exactly <laughs> <laughs> what does she do that scare you? My wife works from home, so sometimes what she'll do is she'll like literally just stand behind me without making any noise, and I won't notice her. And then when I turn around, it's like ah, <laughs> like she's like right there, you know. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no more paint on the tit, so I'm gonna have to actually put drops in. <laughs> Just a tit! Hey, no worries, bro. You do the same for me, so I, I appreciate it a lot when you do. You know, the least I can do is return the favor. <laughs> yeah, only feet. <laughs> Not to brag, but I have Hobbit looking feet. Somebody out there's gonna like. Them. Now the difficult part is that right there between the armor and his collar that has to be the same red. Right My bat is like super focusing. Oof, I got it, and I didn't fuck it up! The 
that's the exciting part about painting as you know the more you do it like they're being able to like go into more and more difficult areas and like, not have to do 20 takes when the paint is more watery it's a bit more malleable it's a bit easy oh you're a writer awesome what what do you like to write um poetry short stories uh i'm myself like writing poetry i i tend to write in both um spanish and english poetry I think you'd get along really well with one of my one of my mods. Um, he also he's also a writer. Uh, he went also went to school for it. Um, I think right now he's doing an internship as a uh, re reviewer. I think it's called. Gotcha. Well, dude, honestly, I'd love to like check out some of your poetry sometime. Uh, do you have a on your Discord? Do you have a section for it? I'm just uh, an appreciator of the arts in all their forms. Yeah, dude, for sure. It's awesome to have your own story and you should definitely write it. You don't, you know, you don't have to go to school for. You do, you know, anything in general. you get hit with the muse um you should definitely post it on either twitter or you know on your discord wherever i haven't written in a while too um i think the last piece i wrote was two years ago Yeah, for sure, dude. 
You also need ideas for fantasy writing. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. <laughs> the words of Patrick Stott. Sometimes the muse, you know, goes and you gotta find it. But I, I'm satisfied with the pieces I've written. I personally enjoyed them. I don't toot my own horn, but. I also feel that like, um, Ass. Uh, you record got you. Hey, Sensei Togepi, how are you doing today, my guy? Got you. You record what they do and not make things up. So you struggle a little bit with the creative act aspect of things, Squid? Yeah, give me a break, buddy. Got you. Actually, I had to use very little. Um... Yeah, guys, check out Sensei Toga P2. Still trying to learn, um, you know, working with the Nightbot. I haven't made a lot of commands on it. white for his eye. Hey, no worries, Togepi. I think one drop of the white should be enough for his eye. Thoughts? leaving way too many chains open don't do that that's a terrible idea don't be disorganized <laughs> being a crybaby he would swear that he doesn't get any attention yeah, 
just want to like Damn, I actually, like, I'm very happy with how his eyes came out. They don't look stupid. <laughs> I managed to do a, like, a, boop, a little perfect blob, blob of paint. There's still a few kinks in the armor that I gotta work out. Always look at the meat. Oh, you're right. You got away, buddy. Dog is a spoiled man. Nice. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. El mozo. Just a little bit. I'll let him dry before I touch him again. Next up is applying the shadows. Just gonna be using the shadow wash. I think I should leave the class blue. From what I see, it's more like tentacle. It should be like the color. Ah, uh, thanks, Squid. Appreciate it. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you for the host too. Hmm. 
I'm gonna do a stone color for the base. Do a brown. Kind of up without getting M per se. So we are finished with our mind flare. We just need to do some shadow application, my peeps. But uh, we'll be calling the stream. We'll be back later tonight with more content. And as always, I'll be posting the finished product on my Instagram and on my Twitter. Uh, so please drop me a follow so you can see the pictures in more detail. Appreciate you all and thanks for stopping by. Take care, everyone.